Hey everybody, it's Millie with Crafting in My PJs. Welcome to my channel. Well, surprise, surprise, another Dollar Tree haul video. I try not to do back-to-back -back Saturdays, but oh my gosh, I had a few minutes to spare this afternoon and uh, my car on autopilot just turned into the parking lot at one of the Dollar Trees and I said, oh, well, I'm here. I've got 15 minutes to kill. Three Dollar Trees later, I decided you better see some of this stuff because there is some stuff here that is so good. You might want to run out and look at your Dollar Trees right now and see if it's at your Dollar Tree because you know how things go. They sell out quickly. Now, um, I went to three Dollar Trees out of the seven in my area this you are seeing this video on October 21st 2023 and I purchased all of these things the night before the video was released so I'm literally recording the night before all right if you're a subscriber thank you if you're not a subscriber consider subscribing please give it the video a thumbs up this channel is devoted to quick easy crafts anybody can do and 99 percent of my crafts come from dollar tree and so i shop at dollar tree a lot all right we are prepping for christmas so when you walk in dollar tree right now you still see halloween there still might be some breast cancer awareness material out um Halloween is starting to wear out. Uh, I don't see new things being put out uh, in the Halloween area. Um, very, very, very picked through. Then we have fall, which fall started before Halloween and then now, you know, is still viable because you have Thanksgiving. Fall morphs into Thanksgiving. So, you'll see a new thing here and there but that's starting to wear out too that is starting to sell down i did find one fall thing that struck my fancy and i thought it would be great for thanksgiving and that was this um, color your own table cover tablecloth so it's a vinyl tablecloth and uh you can color and write on it. So while you're very anxiously waiting for that turkey to come out of the oven, there you go. Um, great for a kid's table. Great for anything. You could even hang it on the wall and let the kids with washable markers do things on the wall. I don't know, washable markers. You'd have to test the markers out on this. Anyway, um, it's 59 by 40 inches. So almost five feet and three and a half, well, less than a half, less than three and a half. So five by three, three, but three and a half by five, uh, roughly. So I thought that was really cool to have not seen it at a bunch of Dollar Trees, only saw it at one of my Dollar Trees. And I thought it was great. Now, this was something else, and this is totally off the cuff kind of thing. I was walking down the stationary aisle and they had these jot organizer trays so just jot organizer and they're kind of a smoky clear acrylic but look at the bottom <laughs> look at the camera the bottom is a rose gold color foil cover to the bottom really pretty really elegant really like it really liked it so it came came in this size let's see if it says it on here it does not my my rulers right here so it is this one is six inches across by nine so this one is six by nine then they had a smaller size which was six by six so six by six square and then another one that is six by three. Now, the interesting thing is they fit inside the big one like that. 
there's got to be something fun we can do with these organizers. They're just so cute and they fit together so well. I love it. All right, the other thing in the stationary aisle that I have never seen before, <laughs> they call it a calligraphy pen. Well, it's a fountain pen, an old time fountain pen. So I do do some junk journaling and it came with two refills, two ink refills. And you know, this is just kind of a nice higher end looking pen. Wait, I'm trying to make sure I get the, the right part. All right, so I screwed it off the screw part right here. This part goes in and then we're going to screw it back on and that should puncture and I'll see if I have anything to write on. Maybe this is a do not buy this item. I am not getting it to work. Oh, you cannot. Okay, so you cannot put it in the wrong way. It has to go in this way. And I am turning and pushing and nothing is happening. All right, I will play with it a couple more minutes before the video ends and let you know at the end, I'll give you a, hmm, a recap of whether that works. All right, so I was really excited to find that fountain pen. I thought it would make a great addition to some of the junk journals or just the regular journals, handmade journals that I've been making. Oh, by the way, look at my new shirt. All I need is coffee and a glue gun, matches the cup, the coffee cup. It should be in the shop banner below the description. All right, so let's move on now to Crafter Square. What's new in Crafter Square? Well, I've not seen this before. It is stamp pads. Yes, and I was able to find red and green and blue and black so i think we're going to end up doing a video where we make some handmade cards and we can stamp now because not only do we have stamps from dollar tree but now we definitely have ink stamp pads that we can stamp with and homemade cards make a great gift a great gift to other people to give away all right, one of the other things, oh, and I'm missing something. It must be in a bag down there. I'll let you know about it in a minute. I did see this in Crafter Square and I picked it up. It's just some watercolor paint. Um, my grandchildren are now starting to join me in the craft room and they want to stamp and they want to paint. So I thought having this little paint palette would be great for when the kids come in the craft room. Um, the, the thing that's not up here, I don't know what happened to it, is uh, a little cup that they sell in the Crafter Square aisle to wash your paint brushes. And it kind of slopes into a smaller hole and I thought that would be less chance of spillage. All right, on my last haul, I showed you the $3 candle holder. Oh, we're moving to Christmas now. I showed you the $3 candle holder that I was able to get that was only one at the time. Well, now I found more. So I actually like this one better. This one was also $3 for a particular project that we're going to make. But that does not mean I will not use this one. It will definitely hold one of the candles that I have at Christmas on a table or my buffet. So, so it's not wasted for sure. The other thing I found were some stickers, uh, wall decor stickers. These were $1.25. Wall art, one sheet of graphics. Um, wall art may damage wallpaper. Do not place on or near heat sources. And it may not adhere to oily surfaces. Thought those were cute. Again, grandchildren decorations. Love it. All right, now, uh, in the Crafter Square aisle, there was this painted burlap. Now, if you've seen any of my other haul videos, you know that at, sorry, that's Peanut, he wants to come in. At um, holiday time, they seem to be coming out with these themed, decorated burlap pieces. 
I love cutting them up, putting them on a ring and making a wreath out of them. It's an easy wreath that people like myself who want quick and easy crafts can handle. So I did pick that up because that might make a great wreath this holiday season. All right, I'm trying to section this out. I showed you this last time, but I wanted to show you again because it is adorable. Um, a cute little snowman mug would make a great gift holder. It is a pretty large mug, but if you're like me, I don't mind a large cup of coffee or hot chocolate. I prefer them big. All right, big cup of whatever hot that I may be drinking. Mm -hmm. All right, so I do have my small Christmas tree that the kids are going to decorate. And they had either um, tree skirts or these tin collars, tree collars to fit around the bottom. Thought it was cute. Don't have one for my big tree. I just have a tree skirt. So I thought the collar would be a nice touch. All right, they're coming out too with treat bags. Both the paper treat bags and the plastic treat bags. Always a great thing to grab. They're a really good price. And if you make any kind of treat for Christmas, I usually make holiday trash. Um, and, and that's about it. I make holiday trash and sometimes some almond bark. Some uh, white chocolate almond bark. And so I have something to put them in. But the reason I grabbed this one is I really liked the print on it and I thought that it would be really cute on uh, in a junk journal or something. I might make a junk journal with it. We'll see. I don't know yet. All right, so I'm gonna put that on the side. The other thing, and those things sell out fast. People buy them and they're gone. And then you can't get them when you want them. So I always grab a few. All right, so, oh, and this bag had 10. This bag, has two and they're cookie boxes. Now, I'm not making cookies, but I'm waiting for Dollar Tree to come out with their hot chocolate bombs. Last year, I bought them up, decorated them simply myself, put them in a Christmas cupcake holder, and put them inside of things like mugs, or four of them in these boxes would make a nice, a nice gift to somebody. This particular one is six and a quarter by six and a quarter. So it's square box, two to a set. And there was an eight by, an eight by five maybe, or an eight by six variety as well. But that was a little big. I didn't want to do that many bombs. All right, so the, <laughs> y'all, for anybody who likes to do tiered tray decorating, they have been coming out with these holiday themed tier trays. So at Halloween, there was um, the, I think it was, it was a black one and a white one. So skulls and maybe cats or bats or something like that. I didn't buy one because I have the wooden tray and I don't want to store all of these decorated trays. Well, I, 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 I caved. Look at this. So this one will be for the January time, and it's snowflakes, so it'll go January, maybe February. There you are, $5. They're on the Dollar Tree Plus aisle. And then at Christmas, there was this red one, and it has trees on it. And isn't it adorable? I uh, really like it. So, yeah, I caved. I bought trays that I'll now have to store in a house with no storage. All right, this was another thing. It was on in the kitchen aisle. So it was not over by the Christmas stuff, but look how cute. Snowflake glasses. I bought two of them. I thought that if uh, for a gift stuffed with either candy or um, baked goods or something in here would make uh, maybe some uh, adult libations, those little bottles, that would be fun. Uh, so these would make a really cute gift. So um, we will see what we do with that. All right, 
Now, the reason this channel started, the reason I started this channel, well, there were two. One was I was always in the search for quick, easy crafts to do with one particular adult client that I have. By the time one of my speech therapy clients becomes an adult, you can't do uh, holiday bingo all the time. And you cannot do these very, you know, kid, high, even high school, like activities. You need to have something that's age appropriate. Well, my friend Stephanie loves to paint and she loves to craft but I have to be very selective about what we craft, how we craft. It has to be things that she can handle and have fun doing. It has to be age appropriate. And if it is something that's a little bit more involved, I've got to be able to modify it so that Stephanie will have fun doing it. So I almost fell out over these. They were on the Dollar Tree Plus aisle. They are $3 and they are Christmas scenes on a canvas already drawn out. Now you may say, hey Millie, that's going to be too hard. Maybe, but if you take it in stages and I mask off things with painter's tape, Stephanie can very much do a great job painting this. Also, sometimes you have to think out of the box when it comes to painting items like this. Maybe you don't need to paint it detailed. Maybe you just need to take a variety of colors of paint and sponge it abstractly or take a paint roller and roll it abstract. There's all kinds of ways you could take something like this and make it very age appropriate yet easy enough for anybody to do. Yep. So that was the first reason that this channel started. The second reason was my sister was ill and I thought we both like to craft and I thought it would be a great thing for her and I to do together as she was going to come and live with us and it would be a great pastime for us. So um, the kit comes with paint and a tray and a paint brush. That's awesome too. So yeah, I'll let you know how this works with Steph. There were several different designs. I picked a design that I felt like Steph and I could handle well. All right, now, if you are a Disney person and you go to Disney during the holidays or any, any, Dis any uh, holiday themed party that's at night, you see people wearing these light up um, LED necklaces. Well, over at Disney, they're $20 or at least $20, if I'm not mistaken. Almost exactly the same thing for $1.25. Pick up quite a few of them, have them in your bag. If the, uh, if the lights burn out, you got them for the next night, you have another one. So I always grab a few of these. They're fun. They're fun for the kids to play with, even if you don't go to a party. Speaking of, and that's a dollar twenty-five. Speaking of my kids, this is a dollar twenty-five. We like to decorate these larger felt pieces. They had them at Halloween. They had them at fall, and now they have these. They have the snowman. They have the Christmas tree. Comes with felt pieces. You do need to use glue to stick them on. I have tried putting Velcro on the back of the pieces. It works. Eh. You know, because I wanted it reusable that we could talk about and decorate. And so, so yeah, really cute. The kids love it. It's a great thing. All right. Now, knock something down. Oh, okay. So now the, not the coup de gras yet. All right. But it's part of it. All right. Holiday books are out. Uh, if you saw one of my last videos, you know that I bought Halloween ones. These are Christmas themes. So there was Twas the Night Before Christmas, nice big illustrations. I have young grandchildren and I work with young children. Um, if they celebrate the holidays, I, I will ask the parents and I bring it in if this gets messed up. But nice, nice illustrations. Then it's not too much out of my pocket if it gets messed up. There was a sticker variety activity book kids love that. 
um, Blippi, woohoo, Blippi, and the Christmas story. And this I bought more, the intention for this was my own grandchildren. So beautiful illustrations in it, very childlike, very young childlike, not a whole lot of verbiage. Now, this is one of the coup de grace, so if you stay to the end of the video, you get the good things. They had, I've never seen this at Dollar Tree before. It is an interactive book. So they're hard, they're hard cardboard books, and it tells you sing along, or, and then there was another one, watch along. So there's a QR code, and I, I don't know if, I'm gonna see if I can do this. There's a QR code, and you just hold your, you hold your camera up, and it will open this. Okay, it will hold up the music to the song that the book is about. I thought that would be kind of fun to do with some of the kids. We do do a lot of singing, so there you go. So that was, that was new, and they had at least three, if not four different books like this. All right, now, this is, this is the coup de gras, coup de gras. This is, the, this is it. <sighs> These were on, in the food aisle, not with the Christmas stuff. It, on the food aisle, so by the baking area of the food aisle, a gingerbread house kit. Look how cute. Now, I guarantee you this is probably small, but that's okay with me. So there's two gingerbread pieces. There's icing, and there's some sprinkles. On Christmas Eve, we used to do a gingerbread house building contest, and you'd have an, um, an adult with a child, and we'd pair off, and everybody would go in different rooms and find a secret place, and it got very expensive. <laughs> so, so I was very excited. I bought a few of these. I bought a few of these. Because if I don't use them Christmas Eve, then there's a good chance I will give them as, as part of gift baskets to somebody special that they can do with their children. And then the other thing were, decorate your own gingerbread man. Look how cute that is. Two gingerbread people. Um, they're pre-baked. Has icing and sprinkles. So red, white, and then sprinkles. That's the, on the back. Isn't that awesome? I'm so excited about that. All right. That's it. But it was a lot. So I figured we needed to add an extra video in. Um, I tried to do the Saturday ones every other Saturday, but yeah. All right, so I'll be right back to let you know about the pen. Let me look at this. Okay, as you saw, the pen does write. What I did not do properly is this little ink cartridge has a small piece right that like right there that goes into the part with the point with the nib. When you push, it's not just place it in there. I had to push and then push against the table until you hear a very firm click. You won't feel any jiggling inside at all. And so let's see if I open this up. I don't want to get ink everywhere. And so you see my ink cartridge is in here tightly. So it took a good amount of pressure. I pushed it against the table to get it to pop. And then it had to, the ink had to move down. All right, that's it. All right, guys, so the pen does work. The pen is a win-win. All right. All right, guys, that's it. Y'all have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.